I'm here with Don Wakamatsu, EVP Oakland Ballers. And you look around today, you see the community support, the birth, it is here. I mean, how exciting is this day, knowing how much work has gone into this? Well, I was approached a couple months ago about the project from Brian and Paul, our ownership group. And, you know, I, I retired after 36 years, two years ago, and didn't know if I'd get back in the game or, or had a desire to. And so for me, this is a lot more than just baseball. It, it's, it's a way to come back to my hometown. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I would have had the opportunity if it wasn't for people in my life uh, and the baseball that I played at an early age. And so this this is a great opportunity for me to be able to, to help build something here, get back to the community and give some hope to some players in the community. Yeah, and someone of your stature, you came from Hayward, obviously we knew you from the A's, the Mariners. I mean, to be able to lend your years of expertise to this thing, it, it gives it a sense of legitimacy and knowledge that I think is going to help just fast track this thing so much as they, they begin a new team. So, I mean, the level of excitement maybe you have just in knowing you get a chance to build something from the ground up, something you get to shepherd in and, and give back to the game more than anything, right? How, how special is that for you? Well, you know, I, I was real fortunate. I, I coached 20 years in the big leagues, but the most memorable times I had in all of pro baseball was really running an, the organization for the Anaheim Angels at mm. the lower levels. Mm. You know, to be able to see young kids that have that dream and then be able to have an impact. I don't see any difference here. Um, we talked about hiring coach, a coaching staff that has Bay Area roots. We did that in Micah Franklin. Mike and I together, we probably played in every ballpark, small podunk ballpark in America, which in some ways tells us we weren't that great a player, but he gave us that opportunity to be able to pass it on. So to be able to bring players in, whether they're college seniors, whether they're uh, early release players, whether they're the kids just come out of the community and never had an opportunity, we're now in that position to be able to, to pass that knowledge on. And that's what's special to us. I think, you know, if you don't get goosebumps when you're coaching players, you shouldn't be in the game. And, and even at 60, you know, I still get goosebumps. Yeah, and you know the the MLB draft. There's not as many rounds now. There's not as many opportunities in the game as they scale back the minor leagues a little bit. So this is a critical opportunity, not just to, to teach professionals, but also to, to give back to the youth, the kids that, that were playing little league baseball all around the city. So I mean, what what aspect of that do you do you look forward to the most? I mean, I think it's pretty cool twofold how much this is going to give a chance to give back. Yeah, I, I think the draft's interesting, and, and you know, you, there's arguments both ways. Uh, from my standpoint, I was a college senior signed out of Arizona State. Uh, if I didn't get that opportunity, I wouldn't have had an opportunity to, to, to play in the big leagues. I think that that's opening up now when the, when the MLB cuts the draft down to, to 20 rounds. There's a lot of college seniors now that still have that dream, and that's what's exciting to be able to call these guys up on the phone and say, we, we have an opportunity for you, you know, and, and I guess in return they got to tell us, hey, I haven't given up a dream. So that's important to us, you know, and it's, it's a fun uh, process, like I said before, to be able to, to be that player, to go through it uh, myself and then, and then give that hope and opportunity to, to players not only here but around the country. How much do you think this team can help mend? I mean, I know that losing a Major League Baseball franchise, losing a franchise with the historical value to A's, obviously no one's going to replace that. That's not the goal of this. But how much can this help mend the community at least? Yeah, I, I think people got to understand we're not here to try to replace the Oakland A's. What we're here to do, and I think the, the whole business model of minor league baseball is different. It's changing. You know, fans want to come to a, a family first entertainment uh, venue. Paul and Brian are, are committed to doing that. Uh, my job is to put a product on the field that, that, that allows them to, to want to come to the ballpark every day. So I think the other fact is you don't get this opportunity uh, very often to be able to put an independent club in a metropolitan city with this kind of visibility. Visibility for our franchise, but more importantly for these young players that want to go on. I mean, one of the first things they ask us when we go talk about signing players is, well, are our scouts going to see us? Well. If they don't see us here in Oakland, they won't get a chance to see you anywhere. So those are all exciting things. The timing of it, the visibility of the city, the, the educated, uh, passionate fan base of the Oakland A's. You know, so to be able to capture on that, I think it's a great environment for all of us. All right. Thank you so much, Don. And best of luck to you guys. It's a really exciting day. Appreciate it.